Teapot Trust provides art therapy to children and young people who live with chronic conditions. The children we support, many of them are aged 7 to 12, and they don't necessarily understand what's happening to their bodies, or they can't, they don't have the words to articulate it verbally. So art therapy is effective because they are focused on enjoying the art, while the skill of the art therapist is in gently probing what's emerging through the art and helping them to explore what coping strategies might be helpful for them. The design intention is to demonstrate through the power of plants how art therapy helps children overcome their fears for their treatment in relation to the chronic illnesses that they suffer. To help them feel less defined by their illness. So we looked to places that reflect how a child experiences the world, children's film and literature, books like Alice in Wonderland and to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, those places where a child's imagination is to the fore. We want visitors to experience the garden as a child might. I think that's critical. You know, you forget as an adult what it is to be in the world as a child. And it's important to us to spark in visitors that slight uncertainty about what they're experiencing when they visit the garden. It is a garden of the imagination seen through a child's eyes and we want to show the power of art therapy to take children um, elsewhere away from their illness. So we've interwoven into the garden elements of surprise. We've got kinetic water sculptures and some sound art. And when people, the visitors first experience it, they might not quite know what's going on. But you know, that is reflective of a child's world um, and a children living with a chronic illness that you know, they don't always understand everything and that's okay. We'll be inviting visitors to put on headphones to experience three soundscapes within the garden in the subterranean world and the shrub layer and the canopy and it will take some time for them to figure out what they're listening to and that lack of understanding for children I think is something we forget you know a lot of the children when they receive their treatment they have no control and they don't necessarily understand why things are happening to them mm -hmm. um, and for us that's important to be able to translate that within the garden. My name is Katrina Halliday and I was diagnosed with juvenile idiopathic arthritis when I was seven years old. People really don't see it, they don't understand it because you're doing everything that everyone else is doing. So you'd be going to class or you'd be doing things but it's so much harder. It's just a lot of feeling like you're not understood. And I was going into high school and I was the only person in the school with the condition that I had. So it was very difficult to deal with it at that point. Teapot Trust allowed me to connect to other people my age um, with the same condition and the therapists also helped me deal with it and come up with coping strategies very well. The opportunity of a garden at Chelsea is fantastic because it will raise awareness of, of chronic illness on the one hand and also of the benefit of heart therapy. Chronic illness affects one in four children in the UK and we know that that's 2.5 times more prevalent in areas of disadvantage and that's why we've chosen the, the permanent home of the garden um, to be at Royal Hospital for Children Glasgow. There the garden will be used for outdoor art therapy so that children don't need to go into the clinical environment and it will give us a permanent visible presence at the hospital long term. Therapy is not a bad thing. I feel like people think it's such a bad word but it's really, really not at all. With a condition like this, it's one of the only ways you'll be able to cope.